And that will do it from College Park. For the first time since 1998, Rutgers comes in and shocks the Terps here in College Park with a 73 to 65 victory over the Terps as the fourth ranked Terrapins suffer their first loss of the season. I'm disappointed because you don't snap your fingers and, and just get the right to win at home. We, we barely lose here. But it's not given to you. You don't just walk into Xfinity and, and, and be able to get a win because you play at Xfinity in one of the best arenas in the country. You gotta earn it. You gotta earn it. You're off tomorrow. Uh, Wednesday, uh, we'll, we'll have practice, and then Thursday we will uh, start with our Ohio State Scout. You guys are gonna give it. Okay, you guys are gonna give it. So uh, on your iPads and your game plan, all your stuff is there, personnel, sets, full games. Right? So you will have the responsibility Thursday to come in to uh, Coach KB has a scout, make sure if it's uh, written up, she'll make copies of it. On Thursday, we'll do just like we do. Everyone will have a speaking part. You'll decide that. You'll go through, uh, open up uh, Ohio State, you know, give their uh, transition, the overhaul of the scout and their personnel. What last year was isn't what this year is. What today looks like may not be what tomorrow looks like. Our intensity has got to be a lot greater. We've got to defend, rebound, and run. to run the scout for Ohio State because the coaches really felt like we had more time during this winter session to really focus on scout and everything. We decided as a staff that uh, we were going to put the ownership uh, back on the team to do a scouting report. With a young team with um, only three, you know, three freshmen, only one senior, you know, uh, we hadn't really taught them, you know, uh, how, how to go about watching film and viewing film. Watch the last two games. Uh, what, what, what was the stat I had you pull up? Last three games, three. she's five and seven. Okay. Yeah. So she's a, the type of kid when she goes to set a ball screen, she's going to screen and pop or screen and slip. Okay. So understand kind of that that personnel of uh, she's really shooting the three really well right now. Uh, she's a three point shooter. She also crashes the boards like really hard. Um, so if you're around her, near her, box her out, make sure you find her. And in trans, you want to find her as well because she is looking to spot up for threes. Um, I'll just talk about her and then you can do transition after this. Right. Okay, so I put 32. This is one of the things you also need to know about this team is they do have a lot of bench points that are coming in. It was good for all of our newbies to kind of learn more about the scout and why it's important. Um, just to know personnel, and uh, it really gives us an advantage in the games. She's a left shoulder, right hand finisher. She'll do up and over. She'll do the back down spin. So just wall her up and you know still let it get position. She's the last on her hand, so we can't bail her out with the foul. Uh, she also will shoot the three. 
the main thing is you guys have got to communicate and we got to not allow them to get downhill. It's just like you guys talked about. This game is all about us playing one-on-one -on -one defense. Now, let's say the big gets up there at 14 slip, right? We got two on the ball. The two that's on the ball in that situation, what do we have to have so that they can't get the slip? I am. I think that's it. I think you guys have to determine the mindset of being aggressive in our press, right? Being aggressive in our red. It's not that we're all for it, right? But this is a big game, a one-on-one -on -one game. This is where you guys got to come out and show everybody that what happened the last game is never going to happen again, that we're going to always be more aggressive. I thought they, they killed it. They rocked it. Uh, they took the ownership, and, and I thought they did a really good job with it. I was asking the managers yesterday when you guys were lifting. Uh, we were in there, and um, I asked who had duty for the Rutgers practice the, the day before our game, right? So uh, M shared with me there was a couple of them that uh, their, their practice was from 115 to 515. Okay, 115 to 515. Then one of their players came back uh, the next morning at 6.30 in the morning to, to get shots, right? And uh, that player asked who it, who it was. It was number 24, right? And I remember number 24 making a big play at the elbow late game that, that, that was a, a, a big shot. Um, so, again, why do I share that? It's because, you know, as we're, like, you know, now tightening things up where, we're, you know, great job with the scout, right? I don't think we were there the first two games and should have been, but that, that's where we got to tighten things up, where we recognize that as a staff um, what we're doing to tighten things up because I think you all have great intentions, right? But, but understand, like, everybody is, is, you know, wanting to outwork us as well. At the University of Maryland, we believe that education has the extraordinary power to improve the life of every person on earth. We are confronting the most pressing challenges of our time, vigorously pursuing the discovery of new knowledge, integrating art and science, and developing the next generation of global citizens. We are the University of Maryland, and that is our fearless idea. party at Coach's House tonight at 6, so if you guys can all try to be there at 6, please. Um, and then tomorrow we'll practice at 10.30.
can open it all up at the same time. Our staff a lot of times gets the credit uh, behind the scenes that, that the head coach does. And, you know, I have, in my opinion, the best staff in the country. Hey, hold on now. What does this mean? Oh, a water gun. Uh oh. Are we going on a vacation? Oh, <laughs> We're going on a cruise. We're on an all inclusive trip on the beach with a date slash location TBD soon. <laughs> Cash me outside. Yeah. 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 I felt like it was time with, with our staff. I can always kind of feel when that right moment is. We've been able to do this in the past. We had fun with it. They had to open up a bag and there were sunglasses and beach toys and a beach ball and uh, you know all kinds of things and then they opened up a note uh, that they were going to an all-inclusive resort uh, here in the off season. I think we've all been waiting for this game right? You guys have done the work. Remember guards got to get through those screens but post fighters protecting all right being ready win all four quarters at the very jump put our 40 minutes together. Be aggressive. I'd be excited when the shot goes up. Man, that we secure that rebound, let's go. The competition is real in conference play. All right, we know that. My name is Chris Vosters. Delighted to be with you and Happy New Year's. Maryland is out to avenge a very disappointing loss to Rutgers on Monday. Well, on Monday, Rutgers took full advantage of having one of their best games of the season. They knocked in nine threes, and they played staunch defense to contain the painted area, which Maryland loves to attack.
Bears trying to steal one on the road. And the number four ranked Terrapins, their second straight loss. That's a shot clock violation. Maryland is tested at home by a resilient Ohio State team. What kind of win is this for Maryland? This is huge for their confidence because of the battle they had to go through with Ohio State. Bouncing back from that Rutgers game. That's something special for Maryland. They can put that in their bag moving forward. 499 wins for Brenda Freeze. I thought Taylor was sensational. I mean, as a freshman, you get a box of one. It says a lot of respect that other teams have for her. Every day is a process, I think. We locked in the past three days, just getting better. And I mean, every day we're trying to get better at something. We can't stay the same in this type of league. We had a long pause after Rutgers. Um, you know, a couple of hard days of practice that we needed to get better, and I thought today we really did, and I thought it really showed in that fourth quarter that they kind of came together as a unit and, and made some big plays that we needed to make. We got some big offensive rebounds, kicked out to three, uh, so I thought really as a team they did some great things. They were able to really kind of lock in on personnel and some tendencies. I know a lot of times that we talked to them about that. Then this time they really had to kind of take some ownership, and they were also, uh, we had a nice little fun X's and O's session, teaching them how to draw up plays and kind of what that looks like. So it was really fun to kind of see them be the coach for, for the first time and, and draw up those plays and kind of talk through some stuff, which was a lot of fun. For um, you know, I, I never got into coaching for, for wins, you know, and I, I think the, the most incredible thing is just spending the people relationships and uh, when, when you talk about all the great players that uh, I've been fortunate to be able to coach and all the great uh, staff and support staff that uh, I've been able to um, impact but I think on the flip side is just how many people have impacted me and uh, I think that's what 500 means to me when we get there. At the University of Maryland we believe that education has the extraordinary power to improve the life of every person on earth. We are confronting the most pressing challenges of our time, vigorously pursuing the discovery of new knowledge, integrating art and science, and developing the next generation of global citizens. We are the University of Maryland, and that is our fearless idea. listened to from Coach Sweeney uh, last night and that was his, his qu quote to his team was to go out and compete with joy. Anyone who wears a Maryland sweatshirt in, into this arena for sure. Thanks for coming. How are you guys?
drive the ball. There's not a matchup out there to guard you. Not one. About a minute away from Brenda Free's 500th win. Yes, a very exciting accomplishment for the coach. Maryland's going to win this one, 81 to 63. A very back and forth game for both squads. But Brenda Freeze, she gets her 500th win. get to, to 500 wins without uh, just great people, right? And, uh, you know, I've been really fortunate and, and you guys are um, the most, you know, deserving of this. But it's like how many great uh, players that, that I've been able to coach and, you know, you guys make it rewarding every single day. And from the past to the present to, to the future to staff and support staff and my high school coach and uh, my parents and um, so pretty incredible to be able to uh, be here with you guys so all the people that uh, I really love in my life that are right here in this locker room so um, this will be a memorable one yes, all right I think even out of it to have those moments where you're hearing through text and emails and I'm still getting notes and uh, from so many people that uh, you know I've had an impact on as well as they've had a tremendous impact it's a great um, experience to be a part of because she's just a great coach on and off the court. And so um, knowing that she's built a standard and a great program at Maryland, I love, I'm glad and blessed to be a part of it and just learn from one of the, one of the best. But she just, she puts her team, the teammates and her staff first and, and she created a family atmosphere here that people want to come and play for her. And she holds us to, she holds us to the highest standard and that's why she's at 500 wins and going to get a lot more. I'm so to be a part of 1,000 video. Part of it, you know, it's kind of it's kind of cool to be a part of a big family like, like Maryland, and uh, to see all the players and all the coaches and managers that still love and are very passionate about the school, about our program. The quote my dad gave me early in, in my career is that uh, just to um, be able to see what this little orange ball has done in your life, right? And earlier this week, we hope to be As I, I, I hand you a ferocious snapping turtle today, all right, and we th we, we've talked about this a lot, I want you to tell me, I want you to tell me up to this point, right, we're a quarter of the way through the Big Ten race. What is our identity? Look at that shell, right? You, you can't break the, the exterior of that shell, right? You can't break it. Right? You talk about fear in the turtle. They got to fear us every single day, every single game that we get to have. That is what they've got to fear. They got to fear our defense. They got to fear our rebounding, how hard we run in transition, and how much we share the basketball as a team.
I was super hyped. Um, that's probably my first charge I've ever taken, ever. So yeah, I felt like my point guard. She, she took that charge. I was very happy. I was like, look at you taking a page out of my book. So I'm excited. She took one for the year. It's, she's a big person. I know that's a long fall for her, but she took one for the team. I think the the one thing for me is I just know the toughness that, that Sarah plays with, and I knew. Uh, she would come to this game. She was kind of built for, for this kind of team. I think you just gotta like trust your coach and just be like like you said, like mentally tough. You just gotta be in the gym like all the time working and then like when you're on the court you just gotta show that you can play in this conference. When a number was called, you scored off the bench hundred percent from the free throw line, two wow. for three from Whoa. the three point line. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I mean, it was extra special being able to celebrate it twice. Anyone who knows me uh, knows that, that I like uh, celebrating. Uh, but um, pretty surreal. I mean, when you talk about between uh, the time at Nebraska and then being able to come back here uh, with, our, you know, the greatest fans in the country. But um, I think the biggest thing, you know, this week has really um, allowed me to kind of take it all in is just the, the responses, you know, the text messages and emails and, and uh, responses by people. Um, it really makes you kind of understand the impact that you've had on them. But um, at the same point, uh, for me, it's um, the impact that all of these people that have reached out have, have had on me. Um, and I think that's, you know, in the time of coaching, I was, it's never been about wins for me. Um, but it's the people and the relationships and the connections. And I think that's been uh, the coolest part about 500.